Hello YouTube, what's up my friends, Moody's here and today we are going through a short tutorial for Adobe Breeder printing features that I thought it may come in handy with most of our users so it would be a good idea sharing them with all of you First of all, Adobe Breeder is a good file type to share documents with your friends or send them via an email or even print them because when you save any document file in Adobe or PDF this will prevent the file text and fonts and a lot of other stuff to be puzzled or mixed when you open it on another PC. So Adobe Breeder is the best solution to open your file at any PC and keep all your arrangement perfectly as you saw them on your original PC. So let's start with let's say the normal printing from Adobe is just Ctrl P and you may want to choose between actual size in case you were printing something like a diagram or things that like this paper. This paper is for finger or ring sizing. So you may want to print this with the actual scale because you will determine the size of the ring relying on this paper. So you want to print it with the actual size so you don't choose any other thing like custom scale or fit you just choose actual size and you print it on your default printer mine at home is this one and you just press print so this way is printing a document in actual size this is some manual and you would like to print it on a booklet so, because you don't want to print some manual with a big font and lots of paper so you can either ch choose to print it on both sides or the best solution for manual is booklet choice when you choose booklet it will print four pages on each paper and you will gather it together this way and make it like a small booklet that you can take it with you anywhere half the size of the A4 paper and you can choose whether it will be opening from the left or the right depends on whether it's an English language or any left or any right to left language like Arabic so you choose to open from the right so let's choose some pages from it like from page 1 to page 8 and we are choosing booklet and printing on both sides and oh sorry I printed on the default printer at work not at home so we will just cancel the order this is my default printer at work so we are going to print it on my home printer page one two eight So this way I printed the document with its actual size. And now it's printing my testing booklet. If your printer doesn't support duplex printing, you won't find this the both sides choice. Even here, I can choose print on both sides. If your printer doesn't support duplex printing, this option here won't appear. And here is our booklet shape manual as you can see it opens from the left it's perfect for manual printing and stuff that you don't really want to print them in full size so this is another good feature that you can easily use Adobe Breeder to print from it what else do we need on Adobe Reader printing. Let's try flyer printing. You choose multiple pages and you choose to print two pages in one side. So this is really useful when you are printing some flyers. It would be really nice. Or menu, maybe a menu or something. Some other times you want to sheet on exams or something. <laughs> so you may want to print more than two pages per paper you can choose four pages let's try another another PDF file that contains a lot of pages 
and we can choose to print multiple pages, four pages per sheet. Let's choose them from 8, 9, 11, 12. That's nice. We can test with this one. So this is ideal for sheeting or for printing pages in a very small scale and if you if you can see really much smaller than this there is still a lot of choices <laughs> 6 pages per sheet or 9 it's really customizable the way you want it so I really use it so much this feature on tests or flyers And here is when I printed two pages per sheet. So it's really nice. And here is when I printed four pages per sheet. You see how small it is? Quarter of the A4 page. Those are the main features of Adobe Reader printing to print booklets from left to right, depends on the language, multiple pages choose whatever you want horizontal or vertical you can choose horizontal reverse it for the same reason if you are printing some Arabic or anything else and posters are really useful when you are using an A4 printer at home but you want to print something on A3 so you divide it on two A4 sheets and you can zoom it to the scale you need let's say this scale okay. and no matter how zoom in you choose it will divide the paper on multiple A4 pages so it's really ideal when you want to print some poster on multiple pages and you don't have a wide format printer it would be really nice I don't think there is some other printing feature that we didn't cover here maybe in case you are using some advanced printer at work so when you press properties from here and you install some auto stabler finisher or something a finisher that automatically stables your papers or booklets so you can choose whether to put the stable on the left or the right of the document or even to stabless on top or the left or right so it's really nice feature in case you are using some advanced multifunction copier at work I'm using Riku so my friends these were some basic features of printing using Adobe Reader it's really useful I hope it may help you at work or at home or whatever you are using Adobe Reader printing for Thank you so much for your time, please hit like if this video were helpful for you and I will see you in the next video.